Okay, so you mentioned in your speech that you're going to define tomorrow, give more information tomorrow on the definition of uh, sustainable development. Yeah. The presumption of favour of sustainable development. Can you just start off by giving us a bit, bit more information on that and what that would mean in practice? Well, what we what we said that we do is that we'd bring forward a working draft of the presumption in favour of sustainable development before we publish the full national planning policy framework uh, at the end of next month. So we'll be doing that uh, tomorrow. Um, but in terms of my view of sustainability throughout what I said today, I believe in the classic definition, the, the Brundtland definition that future generations uh, shouldn't be impeded by what the current generation uh, does in terms of the choices they make. Uh, and also I think the, the pillars uh, being economic, environmental and social, both are integral to sustainability. Just on the uh, localism bill, uh, Baroness Hannum mentioned last week that she's open to further changes to the bill within the Lords. Will one of those changes be clause 124, which was mentioned again today, again and again? Well, actually, it hasn't been mentioned that much today. What, what I think is very important that once we have the localism bill as an act of Parliament, the people should know where they stand. And there's been, I think, too much uncertainty as to whether people can in the future take into account financial flows that may not that previously might have been part of 106 uh, agreements but in the future uh, may come from SIL or from the new homes bonus but actually are germane to the planning application so rather than this being uh, subject to a test case in court it's very important that we clarify this on the face of the bill in the act of parliament so we will uh, absolutely uh, keep that that need to clarify it. Uh, what Baroness Hannum said was that if there are some suggested um, you know, tweaks to the wording on that, we're very happy to consider them, but the, there really does need to be this clarity. This can't be something that uh, awaits a test case in the courts. We need to be clar clear on the legislation. Okay, and just finally, it's been quite a tense year with, between planners and the government. What's your message to planners today at, at the convention? Well, I think this is a huge time for, for, for planning. There's a new settlement for planning. All of the things that we've been talking about within the next year will be put into place. And actually, I think this gives planners the opportunity to do what they came into the profession for, which is actually to make the world in which we live better than it otherwise would be. Uh, it involves thinking creatively uh, about solutions uh, to problems. The presumption in favour of sustainable development, it requires people to look for you know, what can you do to to get to a yes that is sustainable. So rather than it being just interpreting central government or regional detailed prescription and applying it in a very dispiriting way, it's really an empowering uh, opportunity for planners to do what they are planners for, which is to, uh, to get into uh, developments, uh, including the natural environment, to make, to make it better.